So this is just a quick video explaining what the Lixie display is. So, uh, Lixies were inspired by uh, vintage Russian Nixie tube displays. So in here are uh, six vacuum tubes, each with ten digits in a metal, uh, I don't know if it's properly called a filament or an anode or a cathode, I can't remember, uh, with neon gas. So when you uh, run 170 volts through one of the numbers, it glows uh, because the electrons escaping to the mesh in front of it. They're very pretty, uh, very steampunky, and there's a big market for them. But the Nixie tubes have some downsides. They haven't been produced since the 1990s in Russia, so all of them that are left are surplus stock, uh, which means that they're becoming more and more prohibitively expensive over time because there's less and less to sell. And because they are as old as they are, we don't know if they're going to last a year, five years, 20 years, or an hour uh, when you plug them in. The Lixie takes a different approach. Instead of being 170 volts, uh, they run on five volts DC, uh, which is safe for pets and children. And they are 10 panes of acrylic stacked front to back, each etched with a number. And then beneath each of those panes, there are two RGB LEDs. So what this means is you can light up any number, in any color, in any brightness. Uh, I've written an Arduino library to make this very, very simple. Uh, so all you would have to do is wire up three wires, and then there's a function you can use called licks.write, and you would throw any number you want into that, and it will write out to your display. You don't have to worry about addressing the LEDs. And the uses for that, uh, over here I have an NTP clock. So this is pulling uh, live uh, mountain time zone time for me. So if I unplug it and plug it back in, the ESP8266 uh, will make NTP requests and write them to the display. So here it is connecting to my Wi-Fi. There it is. And 7.22 p.m. Another thing you can do with them is a uh, finance tracker. So in this case, there's 10 displays with a uh, thousandth separators. And this was a custom job I just did for Blizzard uh, Entertainment. And they've been a little bit secretive as to what it's for, uh, but my best guess is a financial tracker. This is a pretty big company, and this is a billion display. So I actually had to modify the library to account for numbers this big. I never intended for it to be this many. So there's plenty of uses for them. Uh, I, like I personally, uh, just earlier today before recording this, I was using this display as a cryptocurrency ticker for Ethereum because uh, we're almost up to $400 right now. And so it would show me the live Ethereum value. So I have them in my home and I think you would love to have them too.